Do you keep the Sabbath? Yes, I do. Yeah. Really? Are you a Seventh-day Adventist? No, I rest on the Sabbath. Oh, what do you do on Sabbath? What do you, Take a what, nap. What do, you, <laughs> what do you have to do on the Sabbath then? No, no. What the Jews do is, for them, the day of Sabbath is a holy day. Not just rest day. Yeah? Okay. Even though the symbolism yeah. is the day God rested, isn't it? Okay. What was that day, by the way? Was it a Sunday or a Saturday? Um, watch, watch this. Uh, was it a Saturday? Me, or? Me, no, no. You the, the term Sabbath means itself means Saturday. Sub in Arabic. Okay. And also in Hebrew. Yes. When is your rest day? As a Christian. Uh, so I, I have a Sunday, but... There you go, I rest my case. <laughs> can, it, can it not be any day? The day of rest in, in yeah. Christianity is Sunday. Why and we know that. It, so much? it does, because yeah. sun, the term Sunday means the day of the, God, uh, the sun god. Sun <laughs> so the sun worshippers used to keep it on a Sunday. I am worshipping any sun god. I'm worshipping the god, the king of kings, the lord of lords. Okay, whom did Jesus worship? Who did Jesus worship? Yeah. Jesus... By the way, do you agree Jesus is the best role model? Is the worst, sorry? He's the best role model. For the Christians? Jesus is, lived the blameless life, so to me, yes, he is the... Okay, good. I should imitate if he's, Christ. Very good. So if you're going to imitate Christ, when Christ was on earth, mm -hmm. yes, whom did he pray to? He prayed to his Father in heaven. How many persons is the Father? The Father is three in one. The I Father is three in sorry, one? Sorry, sorry, I mean, sorry. Jesus that was a big God. blunder. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> You Father, see, because the Trinity is so believe, indoctrinated believe, that they see it everywhere, even in the Father. The Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah. so once again, is three and one. once again, if Jesus yes. only prayed to the Father, yes. whom do you pray to? I pray to God the Father. I pray to Jesus because they're all okay, three. Okay, one, so two. Three and one and no, no, you forgot the third one. Why is, why is the poor Holy Spirit always sidelined? Yeah. Okay, so say it. Yeah. So you, you worship the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who, one God. Yeah, so you pray to... Three persons, Jesus prays to one person. Whom should I believe? Because the Holy Spirit had not yet come at that point. No, the Holy Spirit was already was already in the belly of Elizabeth. The Holy, the, the Holy Spirit moved the baby in the in the womb of Elizabeth. So he was already there. No, for me and for you, brother. The, the during the baptism, wait, wait, during No, 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 wait, wait, wait. During the baptism, how many persons were there during the baptism of Jesus? So can we go to scripture to look at this? You know the baptism of Jesus. So you see, I'm, I'm actually rooting for Jesus here. I'm saying he worshipped only one person, which you acknowledged. Okay. When I asked you whom do you pray to, you said the three persons, not one person. So you are in conflict with the method and the lifestyle of Jesus when he worshipped and prayed. Okay, so when, we talk, when I talk about the Holy Spirit and I said that the Holy Spirit had not yet come, I understand obviously the three in one, the Holy Spirit is in existence at that point, but it has not yet been revealed to us as people. Okay, you, us to you know why you're, why you're saying the Holy Spirit had to come for you to be notified whom to pray to? Because if I ask every Christian, they give me a different answer. So I don't know which Holy Spirit we are talking about. Are there more than one Holy Spirit? Okay, so if the, if the Protestant Church says that they have only 66 books, the Catholic Church says they have 73 books, which Holy Spirit is, so is, is telling them how many books are there in the, in the Bibles? Hashem, listen, the Holy Ghost. Let's I, make this a spooky Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The Holy we don't want to spook him, bro. I believe 66 books. Okay, I don't affiliate with a particular denomination. Actually, I they all do. Just, it doesn't, look, but when I you hold the Bible in your hand, yeah. that's been authorized by a particular denomination. Okay. So don't tell me you don't. You haven't written the Bible yourself. Sorry? You have not written this Bible yourself. No, no. Just soon it, as soon as you, as soon as you start preaching it. from it, you already are aligning with a particular denomination. No, that's how many books true. has it got? Yes. How many books it's has it got? New Living Translation. Yeah, how many books? 66 books. Thank you. So he's a Protestant. Okay. I'm not a Protestant. I wouldn't go... You wouldn't call it that church. label. That's fine. But you're holding on to a book which is propagated by the Protestants. Okay, I see what you okay? mean. Okay? Okay. What do you mean propagated? means they're the ones who... Do you know that? They're, they're the ones who publish it. King James Bible and... Yeah, all of them. All of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Yeah. Which Holy Spirit do you believe in? The one that the Catholics believe or the Protestants? We all believe in the same Holy Why Spirit. do they have different opinions on how many books there are in the Bible? Because unfortunately we... Are there disagreements within Islam? Well, in terms of the Quran, no. We all believe that the Quran has 114 chapters. Okay? Yeah. Including the Shias. Including any other denomination within Islam. Yeah. Okay? Our understanding differs on certain things which are not from the five pillars of Islam mainly. Which are the core of Islam. Okay, we all say Allah is one, we all say pray five times a day, we all say uh, give zakat, we all say to go for hajj and to fast in the month of Ramadan. Okay, now what you guys differ in is even the book that you hold on to be the word of God. That is the most basic. By the way, what is the language of Jesus when he preached that? 
is he speaking Hebrew at that time? No. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you educate Aramaic, me? Yeah. yeah. That's but nice. I'm not going to condescend you by saying I'll educate you. I'm saying Jesus used to preach yeah. in Aramaic. That was his okay. language. The ones that you have uh, surviving the extant manuscripts are all in Greek, mostly. Okay? Yeah. So none of the manuscripts you have surviving today, or maybe you might have just fragments which are centuries after that, are in Aramaic. So you have lost even the language, let alone the number of books. Everything, everything that you have, which you hold on to as your key or primary source of information, the Bible itself, has been lost.